The extent of poor corporate governance at the public broadcaster was laid bare. Some of the cases have already been referred to the NPA for prosecutions, and individual beneficiaries of doji payments have been identified. Chair, on this one, uh, we have ensured that we turn around this situation as quickly as we can, simply because this is one of the prioritized investigation, and we've been able to process the documentation in the civil process and theft, theft the documents uh, in court. Uh, we did that on the 5th of February this year. Summons, summonses have been, uh, been issued to recover the 11 million, and that million, that 11 million was called success fee for having procured certain services for SABC. And we'll also, we're also claiming uh, 10.7 million damages and uh, there's a name in the in the block there and at this stage uh, once we've served the papers at court it becomes public so uh, the person that we are claiming against is the previous chief operating officer Mr. Saudi Mutsuni but these multi-million rands payments seem to be the tip of the iceberg the rot, according to some lawmakers, is just too disgusting to contemplate. We identified fruitless and unlawful expenditure amounting to 36 million, which includes a payment of, of about 9.6 million to HITV, and uh, found non compliance to policies, contracts, transactions amounting to 1.2 billion. Lawmakers say no stone should be left unturned in fixing the mess. Manili Situase, SABC News, Parliament.